think we just we uh, overall we had a great team effort. Everyone played for each other. And, um, we just got that sour taste out of our mouth that we had uh, last week. It was a tough loss for us as a whole, and that's all we was trying to do is just uh, rebound and get back on track. Talk about the long interception. Yeah. Um, I mean, it was just uh, I, I guess I just I made I just I guess I made a good play. And I just once I had the ball in my hands, it's just uh, I just tried to score, and uh, I didn't do that. I mean, I did, but I, I didn't. It didn't count. So I guess next time I gotta make it count. And um, overall, I just felt like it was the D line with the pressure. Um, salute to them. Like we got a great defensive line, and um, hey, that's all I can say. How long has it been since you've had a play like that where you're kind of whittling and? Uh, around and going 65 yards like that? I'd probably say high school. I, I kind of had a flashback when I got the ball and I seeing a whole bunch of green grass. So I was just like, oh man, I got to do something with it. Yeah. So I say about high school though. Uh, did you think you were going to get there? Yeah, I did though. I like, I, I kind of, I don't know. I just like, hey, I got to score and something just had it in me. I was just like, hey, I got to I gotta get in the end zone. How do you think the defense played over on it? Uh, we 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 gotta we play. I think we play decent. We like our standards are very high, and uh, we want to be great. And to, in order to be that, we gotta we gotta continue to work harder. And we can't settle for just being good because that's we're not tr just trying to be good. So I just got we just gotta uh, watch the film and build on um all the uh, corrections that we have to uh, make. Do you think y'all made plays tonight though, like big plays? Defense may have had more big plays than the past three games. I mean, do you think that? Or? Um, I feel like we, we we did our job, and that's what we're supposed to do. And um, we have to continue to uh get better. Cause we're gonna keep playing, um, S, uh, keep playing our um, market, uh, great team. So, and we're gonna need them turnovers. So, I guess that's what we just gotta focus on. Y'all gave up a couple long third downs early in the game. Does that kind of get you guys fired up? That man, we're not gonna do this again. Um, yes, let's, yes, sir. I just like I said, we have a, a standard of being great and and not just settling for being good. And, and those couple of third downs, it was. It was just uh, miss miss assignments and that that we have to uh, fix and correct in uh, film and like I said uh, we just got to continue to uh, build build off this game. I feel like it was a great team win for us and uh, a great rebound from getting that sour taste from last week. I feel like I bring speed and I can stretch the field and I can open up the field. I can help the run game get better. I could help the underneath game get better. I could help pretty much everything get better for the whole team. Not all track guys are uh, are good football players. How, how are you able to be elite at both? I just I've always loved football since I was little and I make sure I make sure to get extra work almost every day. When I was little I made sure I got work every day. In high school I got extra work every day and so I made sure to get all the fundamentals down first. Biggest adjustment for you from high school football to playing in the SEC? Just the speed and the physicality. It's a very physical game in SEC, especially in SEC West. So I just gotta fill out more and then the speed, everyone's fast, D line fast, linebackers fast. Usually high school, I just run away from them now. They can actually kind of catch me on the perimeter, so I just got to get faster still. You're not used to being caught from behind. No. Yeah, he kind of got caught tonight, right? He had a little bit of an angle, but on that long play. Yeah, my legs kind of, they weren't agree with me on that play. <laughs> I wasn't able to lift my knees, but made sure I got down the field, made sure I held on to the ball, which is the most important thing. How much fun is it playing in front of 80,000 plus? It's just amazing because seeing everyone out there, everyone, they love Auburn football. So just being out there, being on the field is a blessing also. Are you surprised how much you play the first four games? I'm actually very surprised because I came in, I don't think I'm going to be a specialty guy, whatever the team needs me to do. And then I come in and they want me to play meaningful snaps and run everything. And so I made sure I got down. And I, I work out, I work with Ryan Davis at the practice every day, make sure I know my plays and make sure I know my routes and make sure I do everything perfect as that coach wants me to do. Is he a good mentor? Yes, he's a very great mentor. What, what, what about him specifically makes him a good guy to follow, I guess? He's just very poised. He loves, he loves seeing everyone succeed. And then I like seeing, like, I just try to do whatever he does because I see how he turned out here. He's a great receiver. He's a great person. So I just try to emulate everything he does. Uh, last year I was a freshman, so I was just kind of getting used to it. Now uh, I feel like that one-year experience, I just uh, can take it to the next level. And I think uh, I'm just going to continue to do that this year, and uh, this is the start of it. How different is it when you're playing so many snaps on defense, too? Uh, it's a little bit different. You're a little bit more tired, I guess. Um, but um, 
I didn't really wasn't thinking about that. Uh, we, I've been working on that all summer, um, and uh, it showed out today. What, what's what's it been like for you on defense so far? Mm -hmm. I mean, because you guys have gotten a lot of a lot mm -hmm. of deep balls, a lot mm -hmm. of those tests. What's it been like so far? Oh, uh, it's been fun, honestly. Just um, just to get to experience, just to play a lot. Um, that's what you come come to college for. Come to a big school like this uh, to come and play. And I'm doing that, so I'm just living my dream right now. When did you find out you're going to be starting this week? Uh, I found out on Sunday. So I practiced all week with the ones and all that. So, you know, we had a, some time to mesh and all that. So. How did you think it went tonight for you? Um, I just got to watch film and see. Um, yeah, I just got to watch film tomorrow and, and see how it plays out, see what coach says, you know. You, you know, at least offensively, you had Bobby two rushing touchdowns. Feel pretty good. I mean, did it, did, did it feel like the line was feeling good, especially around the ball? Um, you know, once again, we just got to watch film and see how everything went, how every, everything played out. Um, you know, they were doing a lot of twists and stuff, so we just got to see that. Yeah, it's been it's been a while since you walked out there with a starting unit. Yeah, uh, junior year of high school. Yeah, that's right. What what was that like, and what was kind of your thought process going into this? It was amazing. Uh, you know, I missed football a lot. You know. Having that injury senior year and and uh, you know recovering, doing all that, and just playing with those guys, playing you know at Auburn, place so special. You know, it, it means a lot to me. So. Can you find any silver linings to that long wait that you had to have? Uh, like, what do you mean? Just I mean, being hurt your senior year, being uh -huh. hurt last year. I mean, were there any positives that you can find in terms of having to sit? You know, I mean, wait through it and get back into the things. Yeah, you know it. it it definitely brought me a lot of discipline. Um, you know, I just gotta wait my turn to get better every chance I get because you know I never know when my name's gonna get called. So we would, we wish we could have had a zero on the board, but you know just keeping them out of the end zone that's uh, big. So we pride ourselves on that. So. Coach Malzahn said one of the points of emphasis was getting heat on the quarterback. You feel like you did that well? Oh yeah, um, yeah, that was big emphasis this week, and uh, Coach Steele told us that's from that from since Sunday that that's how we was what we were gonna do. And uh, he came in the game and he told us that we were going to put pressure on him. So we dialed up a couple blitzes, maybe even on first and second down, you know what I'm saying, just to get going. And uh, we pretty much did good for the most part. Four games in, what do you, how, do you, how do you evaluate the defense? Um, I, feel like, I feel like we got a lot of talent, you know, um, on all ends of the board, you know. And I feel like we just, uh, just got to continue to get better, you know, as always. And I feel like we just need to. You know, find 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 our, our identity. What we want, what we want to be this year. You know, what we, what we can't rely on last year and uh, all the things we built the defense too. We gotta just you know, you know, look at this defense and fig figure out what we want our identity to be and just continue to sharpen our edge and so be able, so we can use that as, uh, for our on our end from down the road in the season. So, I know you're playing through some pain with that shoulder. How much? How hard is it to play through that every single game? Um, it's hard, you know. I'm just getting a lot of treatment, you know, going going to treatment, getting better. But uh, it's hard, you know. I'm just trying to uh, do my best for my team, you know, fight through little injuries like that. You know, you're going to have to do that throughout your whole career. So just that's just how it is. Do you think you'll play 100% this year? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I mean, I don't know about 100%. I just want to feel feel better, you know, feel good. <laughs> so that's all I'm hoping for. But if I get to that point, then we good. We rolling. So yeah. be back 100 uh, you guys gave up some long third down conversions early in the game. Is that kind of one of those we ain't gonna do this again kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. Um, Get y'all fired up. We just got we had some things we got to tighten up, you know, and just to uh, get better on that third down. You know, we pride ourselves on third down. We want to be good elite on third down. So we just got to get back in the film room and look at what we can do better to, you know, tighten up on third down. What about when Igbenogany took that one to the house? Oh yeah, oh yeah, that was a good play. Yeah, we um we've been talking about all week that we were gonna return return one. We've been talking about really all season, and then this week we just like this is the week. You know, we so close from to letting it burst through. And, yeah. Uh, it happened this game. So. How about creating those turnovers on defense too? Yeah, uh, crazy. With that. Yeah, man. We 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 want to get turnovers every game. You know, uh, just at least at least two or three get two or three a game. You know, yeah. so uh, just having guys fly around stripping the ball when you second man to the ball, strip it out, or just uh, breaking on the ball, getting the interceptions, own coverage, and stuff like that. So that's what we pride ourselves in. Where do you feel you guys improved the most week? Uh, man, definitely being able to get more pressure this week. Um, I think we still just got to work on our overall game. I mean, we want to be at that dominating level. I mean, I think we got to work hard to get there. Derek, how close to 100% are you right now? Uh, I'm, I'm good. Okay. Fighting through some stuff, though? No, I'm straight.
How about the way uh, the run defense tonight? It seemed like you guys are pretty stout against the run. Like yeah, I mean, there. definitely just trying to play and fit our gaps and do our jobs. Talk about creating three turnovers tonight. I know you guys have been doing that all year, but three is a lot. Yeah, I mean, three definitely jumps out. I mean, that's a lot for a whole game. And, you know, depending on how many snaps we played, I mean, we'll see if we made our goal or not. Did you hear much from the Arkansas guys? Were they talking very much? Uh, not really. Yeah, they were down most of the game. <laughs> you walk away from this one feeling good about just how things, you know, how they how they unfolded? Feeling good about we got the win, but I mean, yeah. knowing that no, come off a game like this, knowing that we need to go back to work next week.